Hey y'all, it is Zing. Without Kai, I know. Don't be too disappointed here. Um, I am here to introduce my vlog for my experience at SBF. This past June, it was crazy. I mean, the entire experience was just a whirlwind. I made it to the top five in a cast, a national open call. So you could audition if you had an agent, you could audition if you didn't have an agent, you could audition if you were purple, green, white, black, black. Any female identifying person could audition for this role. The top five would be flown out to Miami to compete for the role live in front of an audience and a panel of judges that included Leah Daniels Butler, Omarion, Romeo, Kevin Boyd, uh, Brett Dismuke, and um, Nikki Love. And I think that's it, but if I'm missing somebody, please forgive me. Charge it to my head and not my heart. So I went there and I competed and you're just gonna have to watch this vlog to see how it all went, okay? See ya. Welcome home, baby daddy. We're so, so glad you can make it. Glad I can make it. She's staying right here with me. Oh, how's that gonna work? You are never here! I can't believe all this started only by. Buying... So this is the road to ABFF, video 1.1, I guess. <laughs> I am exhausted. I didn't sleep last night because I had some bad dreams. And I was also like, you know, just really excited about what's happening tomorrow. That is when I'll be heading to Florida. I'm so excited and I am on my way back to Perimeter Mall to return something that ripped what I'm wearing for my actual test. It ripped so I had to go back and I'm just praying that they have um, another size small and that it fits and that I don't need my car because I left my card at home because I'm sleepy and I have sleepy brain I just hope everything works out so I can get home I have to wash my hair my mom's gonna braid it down my sister overnighted me a wig that she finished Sunday she's or she's finished it Saturday she sent it Monday overnighted it here got here today thank you god and pack completely not packed but i got all my outfits it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be a lit week slash weekend i'm thankful that they chose me to be a part of this update they had the size they had it i didn't have to use my card so everything worked out i'm so excited <laughs> to head to the airport soon. I just want to add, I have never been this cute to the airport. Never. I always wear sweats. Um, but I got this little cute leotard and my zebra print, zebra print, zebra print pants. Um, I tried to flat iron my hair as well as I could, um, considering my sister's not here. This is going to have to do until she gets to Florida. And so yeah, I'm just doing a little little makeup action because um, you just never know what you'll see as soon as you step off the plane. But I'm gonna do something very, very light. Like we can't look like, oh, it's 6 a.m. and she wore makeup to the airport. And it's to look like, oh, she looks, she's glowing. She's glowing. That's what we're doing. Makeup is so ghetto, like it's makeup for dummies. How I do my makeup, anyone could. It's very, very simple. Not used to this influencer thing. So many pimples show up when you have things to do. My skin was so clear for the past like two weeks, and now all of a sudden, it's pimple city. I wonder what it's going to be like to like finally see the girls that I'm competing with. Like, I wonder what the energy is going to be. Is it going to be like, hey girl, we're in competition, we can't talk. Or is it going to be like, hey girl, you know, look at this cool thing we get to do. It's very scary, very unconventional way of testing for a role. 
Hey girl, hey. Cause that's the kind of energy I'm gonna come with. Like, hey girl. Cause at the end of the day, it's already written. Whoever this job is for is gonna get it. And no attitude or like weirdness with the other girl is gonna change that. So it's like, why have it? I'm just hoping everybody has good energy, good vibes and good sports. That would be my ideal situation. Can I write a baby contour? And then I'm about to get picked up in less than an hour. Ooh, child, I can't wait till my sister get here and can fix this hair. She volunteered to fly out and do my hair and makeup. Like, my sister has always had my back. She has always been the goat. And for that, I am grateful wow this is what like influencers do they just talk to themselves all day my brother is the reason i'm doing this he's like make sure you vlog everything no matter what the outcome is you know people are going to be interested in this journey so i said you know what what the hey let me listen to him for a change blush 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 well, Oh yeah, I have nails. I normally don't have nails this long. You can't tell me nothing about myself right now, honey. <laughs> She's looking good. She's looking good. I set a tinge and then proceeded to do like lots of mascara. All right, y'all, this is the look I'm gonna put. And this is my airport look. Being picked up here, right in front of my house. y'all y'all want to see the view from my room hello i don't know if you can see it but there are people down there swimming they're swimming <laughs> this is so exciting oh look at that lighting look at that lighting oh hair inches inches mm, mm, mm. this is the bathroom before i tear it up with all my products and things of that nature very cute. Oh, what am I gonna do there? What am I gonna do there? You know, nothing too major. I'm about to go outside and see what it looks like out there. Y'all, it is hot in Miami. Like, I don't know if I've been in this kind of heat in like 
since I've been to Africa, and I've never been to Africa. But that's how hot it is out here. Like I am dying here. I'm gonna be reverted by the time I get back to the hotel. Uh -huh. Just praying and thanking God for allowing me to be here. Just to be able to be a part of this is enough for me. But it would be nice to take home the prize. <laughs> Got an event I'm about to go to at 8. Um, I'm going to go see They Clone Tyrone. About to film and that they're spotlighting tonight. And then there's the All White Party. I don't know where I'm going to find the energy, honey, because I am exhausted. I think this might be my first room service experience i know right 28 years old wow i got this boot i just ordered a 40 dollars steak on the house you guys oh my goodness these potato oh my goodness like It's just so good. It reminded me of Chef Ramsay be like, only put salt, just sprinkle a little salt and pepper. And I'd be like, I ain't got no seasoning, it's not gonna taste good. This food is fire. And I just, I, all I see is like salt and like garnishes. All right, I can't spend my time recording. I need to eat. She got the ABFF ass. guys i'm in the chair you know what that means what that means sunny lay it's about to go down. down and that's on period that means i'm snatching edges i'm snatching wigs just not my own that means i'm coming for you the calm before the storm this is the look i'm really feeling myself <laughs> with the all black okay so why are we on spring asian call shoot your shot now tell us the day you from i'm zing and i'm from atlanta so now shoot your shot it's based loosely on the mario Marion's life, is that correct? <laughs> loosely, loosely. And you all auditioned for the role of Shayla. Yeah, right. She's 31 years old. So how did you prepare for that role? I think for me, I just have to find something that I really like to do that I'm working on. Not too much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be true. Come on and let it.
touch. Also really nervous because I'm the first one. Number one. So here we go. Like everything I've been working on, we've just about to put it all out there and hopefully, hopefully something cool will happen from it. You know what? Uh, can I get everybody's attention, please? Please, yeah, come closer, come closer. <laughs> Birthday party. I love you, baby girl. May all your dreams come true. Speaking of which, I'm reminded of a story. Oh. When I was growing up, I always dreamed of getting a motorcycle for my birthday. A Suzuki RM80, red with a black trim. Oh, it's grandstand time. Oh, guys, I just went and I am so happy. I missed a line. I missed a line, but I still feel good about what happened. It was a lot of like improv. Lance was an amazing, very generous scene partner. So I'm so grateful for that. And I'm just grateful for the experience. It is above me now. Like it's here. It's here. It's here. So just to have been here is already a win. So whatever happens, it's cool with me because I'm proud of myself. So. You all uh, just brought a different dynamic yeah, yeah, yeah. to the character. And you ought to be saluted from the yeah. yeah. artist to artist. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You know, I just want to salute you as a creative. You know what I mean? Y'all keep shining, queens, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So you know there can only be one. Hey. But we ain't done. We ain't done. Um, should I just say who it is? We gonna give it up like Apollo. Should we go like right here at the night? Y'all give it up for a shot. Yeah. 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 Come on up here, man. Oh, I hate to come in here, but we talked about this in the back. It was so many amazing performances. Yeah. And there's another role that we felt somebody else deserved. Watching this and being an actor myself, that's not easy. So y'all give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. You kind of had this little superstar shining bright light where I forgot you were acting. I thought it was a reality show when you was up there. So with that being said, we're giving another role to Z. You guys, okay, so I didn't get Shayla, the role that I auditioned for today, but guess what? I'm gonna let my sister tell y'all what happened tonight. They were like, we want somebody else for Shayla. And then Zinga was like, you know what, congratulations. However, you were so bomb that we are going to create a role just for you. <gasps> Guys, there were two winners tonight. Like, two winners enough for them to write two names in the deadline article. And guess whose name was in it? Guys, <laughs> Like, I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. This is going to be a wild ride. Shout out to me. Shout out to God. Shout out to the Shoot Your Shot event, Leah Daniels Butler, all the producers at All Black. I'm just so grateful. I'm so honored. and my sister and I are being treated like the queens that we are. Okay, this is Breakfast in Bed, courtesy of AMC Networks. It's on the house, honey. It's on the house. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 
Sister is leaving me. Yeah, okay, what am I gonna do? Oh my god! <laughs> nostalgia because this has been an incredible week but i gotta get home honey i'm so tired <laughs> i'm so tired like going out every night not for me but i wouldn't trade it for the world i would do it all over again um this weekend has been life-changing cannot believe what went down but i'm so in awe of god and so that's my favorite thing about everything hope y'all enjoyed this vlog vlog oh my god my sister keeps telling me like it's not a vlog if you're not writing it's a vlog if it's a video. Thank y'all for watching my vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope it was eye-opening. Um, I hope it turns out well because I haven't put it together yet. This was my experience and I hope it ministers to somebody and inspires somebody because what God has for you is for you. And I'm living proof of that. Bye. Norman was the best guy, the best driver. He was everything, everywhere, all at once, all Have weekend. Thank you, Norman. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Y'all, I have the absolute best mom ever. She just came over right quick before she went home to do her Facebook Live and made me a celebratory dinner, like on the spot. She brought the ingredients I didn't even ask. Woo, wasn't that crazy? I mean, it was literally the most amazing week weekend of my life. The way things happened, it was better than the outcome that I wanted. I won't say everything because I think some things you should keep to yourself, but the conversations that I had after the event, it's Kevin Boyd, the writer, the conversation that he and I had about what character I will be playing in the show and kind of how we conjured that up ourselves, just like over some, some drinks to celebrate. And then just kind of the people that came up to me afterward and the things that they had to say and just the reception from the audience and the judges and um, you know, the time I had with Omari and Romeo, like all of them, they were so kind. Lance was such an amazing scene partner. He was generous and I feel, I didn't get to see the other girls' performances, but I feel like he gave us all like our individual versions of his character. And I thought that that was really, really kind and generous of him. Like back to back, same scene, but give us something different for each girl. Leah Daniels Butler is amazing. Her husband, Mr. Black, is amazing. I love them so much. The all black family, they are so close and tight knit and they take care of each other and you can tell they love each other. So to join this family and, and to have the unique opportunity to hang out with them for the weekend and see how they love each other and treat each other and like, Brett, how he just kind of like, he's kind of like this. He just protects us all. If you're with him, he's like, come on, you know, and he's just taking care of everybody. To see that and then also know that I'm joining this family. I just, the outcome of the entire, it was just more than I could imagine. I thought I wanted one thing, but God had something even better for me. And I just love him so much for that. I loved all the girls. They were all great. I could tell they were talented, even though I didn't get to see their performances. And I'm excited to work with them all. And yes, so that was my experience at ABFF. This is just um, a testament of God's favor and his grace. And when he says that it's your time, it's your time. Because I'm going to tell y'all, for the last year, I was just trying to get a one-liner and just like couldn't get arrested, you know. But this year, just so many things from January to now, what is it, July 8th, so many doors have opened up for me that have confirmed that this is where I'm supposed to be. Even like when I got back from ABFF, the Deadline article came out and then, you know, all this press about involved. And then my show um, Camp TV, where I'm the head counselor for this season premiered. I didn't even know that the press releases were gonna come out the same week. So it was just like a boom, boom. God has been showing out for me and I'm so grateful. And this was a perfect time for me to also launch my business called The Zing Effect. I am going to be coaching and consulting people who are interested in becoming actors and people who are already actors in this industry who just want to kind of continue to train and hone their skills. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just grateful for all that God has been doing. I will always give that back, give it back to him and give it back to my community and the people who have supported me since day one. So with that being said, love y'all. Bye.